10 and only on Denver 7, a group of Hispanic children in Denver called racist names as they were doing work for a local nonprofit. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski joins us in the studio with these exclusive details. Jen, they were shooting a film for the charity when this happened, and I want to mention this was caught on camera. Shannon, the founder of the nonprofit called 911 and started rolling. And we do want to warn you what his camera captured is offensive. I'll do more for your Mexican kids. I'll send them back to Mexico. Vulgar. Back to Mexico. And racist and hurtful. See, he just has a problem with his sexuality. That's 39 year old transient Robert Arnold, who's now behind bars, yelling at a group of 10 and 12 year olds. It's called a game, kids. You want to learn about real reality? 911, go ahead, call him. Marcos Gariva is the man behind the camera. It, it was enraging to, to hear someone talk to these kids that we look at like family like that. He says they were filming this movie scene for Tomorrow Maker Films. There were power struggles and disagreements about how to be An after school program, Gariva and his fiance turned into a nonprofit. So, all of this stuff. To help at risk youth in Commerce City. If we were a group of um, non Latino children. I don't think this would have happened. It was super hard for the kids. The I mean, couple they... says a lot of the kids have undocumented parents and they believe the hate is no coincidence. I feel like it's emboldened and, and empowered a lot of uh, a lot of these kind of closet racists. Denver police were able to find and arrest the man. He's being held on an outstanding warrant. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7. Right,